In response to rising COVID-19 cases, the Mingo County Health Department released guidance to help in the fight against infection. Friday, we spoke with Administrator Keith Blankenship about steps you can take to protect yourself and your family. Western Association of Local Health Departments uh, actually initiated the program to uh, uh, slow the surge in West Virginia. In other words, we're getting ready to come into the next uh, wave of, uh, of uh, COVID cases. And, and so we put together a, a little press release or a mini release to let the people know uh, that we are expecting it. It will be here for two to three months and that we need to be doing everything we can to uh, stay safe. Since the beginning of the week, Blankenship says they've had 30 cases in three days, exceeding January's highest case count per week. It includes stuff that we've always said, there's nothing new in it, but basically mask up when you're in crowded areas, especially indoors, or even outdoors if you're in a crowded situation. Continue to social distance, continue to good hygiene, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, and, uh, and just do those type things we've been preaching all along that, to the public. Although not a mandate, Blankenship says the guidance is recommended, adding that the surge may be tough in the months ahead. Based on a situation like that, you know, we may be looking at a, at a tough road for the next couple months. We're uh, above 150 cases uh, for the past seven days in our county. We've uh, already experienced, uh, day before yesterday, 259 cases, which was in the press release here. Uh, which means we knock on the door 300 cases for the month of August now. Uh, we're very blessed uh, with only having one case of the Delta virus in, uh, or the Delta variant in Mingo County. Uh, sadly, we've had two deaths during the month of August. For health information regarding the COVID-19 virus, you can contact the Mingo County Health Department at 304-235-3570. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.